Good morning ladies and gentlemen, so I'm back with another Conqueror's Play video. Now I was intending to actually do this video tomorrow with the Friday news videos that I usually put out. However I think because of the issues that have been caused, the rumours that were flying around and just the general feeling out in the community this week, I think it was important for me to do this video tonight, a day before the usual Friday news. Now there will be a Friday news article tomorrow, there will be a Friday news uh, video from me tomorrow covering everything else but this video is primarily going to be about servers, server stability, the drama that has unfolded this week and also I'm going to be clearing up some misconceptions about the content creators, the content creator program, what we are, what we aren't and everything allowed to do like that because there have been so many rumours flying around this week, it has been nuts. So. Evo Lords Gaming has just done a very similar video on this. I've been asked to actually do my own video as well and give over my opinion by a few people. So this is the reason why I am doing one as well. But if you've not yet caught Evo's video, go over and have a look at this. See what you think about because he does go into the server side of things a lot more than I will be. I will be discussing it. I will be bringing it up. But I won't be going into it as much as Evo has. I'm going to be focusing more on the other bits that Evo hasn't. So go and check his video out. Leave him a comment, tell him what you think is uh, going on this week, but also make sure you leave a comment down on mine as well, just to actually let us all know how you're finding it, what's really, what's what's annoying you as well. I've got to try to be really tactful in this video, so I may stutter a little bit. Uh, it's going to be, it's been difficult. This week has probably been one of the most difficult weeks for Conqueror's Blade since its launch and it is right on the back of probably one of the best weeks Conqueror's Blade has ever had which is really really sad to see. So last week for anyone that doesn't know was Twitch Drops. It is by far the most successful Twitch Drops campaign they have had. It was very successful, it brought a lot of new people into the game and it really showcased Season 7, showcased the whole game and it really gave a lot of people a lot of confidence to actually get involved in the game. For them then to actually su suffer the kind of week they have this week has been a real disappointment to see it's been really sad to see to be honest now us content creators mods and community managers some of us all of us mostly do play the game we are just as much affected by this as all of you guys now that's not to say that we're going to try and defend or anything like that but actually the community managers they are stuck right in the middle they do have to kind of defend the company they have to make sure that everything is given over to you guys as best as it can but also defend the actions of my games as well us content creators we are we are not under any form of contract whatsoever anyone tells you we are under a contract is just outright lying to you they're misinformed or they're uneducated about the whole content creator program the whole content creator program is just literally you sign up to say that actually yep you can promote the game you're going to do regular videos you can do regular streams everything like that but in no way shape or form and it's not even kind of expressed in any way either that you must promote the game positively at all times without any negativity at any time that is totally and outright wrong i don't know where people have got that rumor from but it is wrong a lot of us have just uh, have expressed disappointment this week massively I know I was really looking forward to Terrace Wars. I was a bit annoyed, I was a bit frustrated on Tuesday, much like everybody else out there as well that were looking forward to the first proper Terrace Wars of the season. It is really frustrating. I can understand the anger, I can under hit, understand the disappointment, I can understand people's frustration. However, where it actually starts to cross the line is once abuse and threats and stuff start, and that does not help anyone. I know there was a lot of drama especially on the discord on that night where people were using things like the clown icons or they just kept repeating it's not your day and actually <laughs> rightly so you got timed out because that is not helping whatsoever we actually got asked on the content creators discord what is the actual issue because no one had actually properly reported it when it first started happening they were totally unsure as to actually what the issue was the extent of it what was actually happening because people instead of actually spending the time to actually report the issue 
have just gone straight on a massive abuse fest and it just did not help whatsoever. I can understand your frustration totally, I can understand people's anger because I was part of that crowd as well, but at the end of the day, it happens. It happens to every single game out there. It's not just Conqueror's Blade, this happens to every single game out there. Okay, it does happen more often than it should maybe with Conqueror's Blade, but they do compensate you. They do try and keep us all up to date and they do really try their best to actually like get things working, get things going because it's no benefit to them actually having all these issues either. That's what you've got to remember is actually they're not doing any of this on purpose. They are really trying to come up with solutions to improve things. So this is kind of where it leads on to Evo's video now about the servers and server stability. So the servers, E1 and E2 servers are fairly old. I don't and I'm not going to claim I know a lot about servers or anything like that. I do know a fair bit of IT, not that kind of side of things. I kind of have to go with what I've been seeing and what I've been hearing and actually we have had server issues for a while. NA server, especially you guys were suffering for such a long time and then all of a sudden they managed to sort it. Unfortunately, it seems to be EU's used to now EU1 and EU2. We've both been really suffering and I can see that actually they are going to get onto this very, very quickly to sort this out because it, it's to no benefit to them to leave this and to have these issues reoccur. The amount of people that supposedly have quit this week just because of the server issues, if they are that number continues as it is is to no one's benefit so actually they are going to be really trying to get on it and trying to correct these issues as quick as they can upgrading the servers upgrading the servers from 20 hertz to 60 hertz i don't know if that's true i don't know if that is actually like what the issue is or if it's just older hardware or i i don't know and i'm not claiming to know either and actually no one really knows unless you're working for my games and you know that server set up perfectly no one really knows how those servers are set up there could be a multitude of reasons why these issues are happening i know they've been patching they've been fixing they've been trying to do this that and the other to fix it but it, it's very frustrating it's very frustrating and like i said us content creators are under no obligation to speak just positively about the game. We can express our frustration as well. And that's kind of what I'm doing in this video, but I'm actually doing it in a tactful and diplomatic way to actually give reasoning for that instead of just going on a pure abuse fest, which again is not helpful for anyone. One thing that's uh, the, probably the thing that's probably frustrated me the most though is I don't understand the reason. I'm sure there is reasoning and I'm sure that there, there's very good reasoning for it and I've just probably just totally missed it, but I do not understand the reasoning for the EU1 and EU3 and then EU2 and EU4 merge to then for us to be presented with an EU5 server. That's totally, I don't know why they have done that and actually with all the server issues that are currently happening, the server stability, uh, issues which are currently happening it makes it makes, <laughs> it makes very little sense to me now again I uh, I'm frustrated by it I wouldn't say I'm angry as such I'm just disappointed maybe a little bit frustrated about it but it in the day it is not really something to get really worked up about and really upset about it's unfortunately one of those things and you just got to grin and bear it giving detailed feedback giving detailed reports of the issues you are facing and actually we may actually be able to sort this out quicker than what happened with the na servers because the na servers suffered for this so so long that actually if we all come together and work together and actually get something put in place properly we might actually be able to sort out these issues between us all a lot lot quicker and that doesn't get you timed out on discord either honestly discord and reddit i had it up i think it was tuesday night and honestly the amount of just ridiculous posts on there the amount of abuse on there is just like it's not it's not acceptable at all and i'm not here to like tell anyone off or anything like that but it's not acceptable it doesn't help 
and in fact if anything it actually slows the whole process down of trying to sort out and figure out a solution for it but that's why I wanted to make this video is to really just put it out there these guys are trying as hard as they can most of them do play the game I'm talking about mods content creators community managers I know the staff don't necessarily play the game as much but I know the mods definitely do all of us content creators do and actually we're all in the same boat because these issues and these stability problems are affecting all of us so actually let's all just turn our time and attention to actually putting in as much detailed feedback and reports as possibly we can and it's don't don't leave me comments saying oh we've done this we've done that and we've actually this the, like this being a problem for the whole year because actually it, it what's happened in the past doesn't really matter like this is the here and now this is what we need to get on and focus and do and stop just complaining and actually attacking people and actually just get on with it and sort it out this is the reason why I thought this video would be very important though to kind of clear up a few misconceptions about us content creators and actually really put it out there and hammer the point home across and over to you that actually the quicker we can all come together and get this sorted the better it is for all of us I'm going to leave it there though, I feel I have gone on a little bit too much, however I believe this video has been totally tactful and diplomatic and it's accomplished everything I've set out for it to be, please do leave me your comments and feedback in the description box, or in the comments box below, hit that like, hit that sub, share it around and I hope to catch you out on the battlefield.